Perseverance drove back to the location of what could be one of the most significant discoveries of the mission. The plan this time was to collect a sample for return to Earth, but Mars was not ready to participate in that plan. On this episode of Mars Guy, at the core of the Perseverance mission are core samples of rocks collected for eventual return to Earth. These have been painstakingly gathered since Perseverance landed 3.999 years ago. It'll be exactly four years on February 18, the anniversary of its landing in 2021. Please celebrate responsibly. Two weeks ago, I reported that Perseverance drove back uphill on the rim of Jezero Crater to a spot that it had visited previously, apparently after the team decided it was a good place to collect a sample. The rock was crumbly and some of the pieces fell out of the tube, but enough remained inside to provide a decent sample. After this sampling operation, Perseverance continued its backtracking this time to a location where it had previously identified the mineral serpentine, a rare bit of compositional information provided in the most recent mission update from the team. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Serpentine is a hydrated magnesium iron silicate in the same family as clay minerals, so it requires water to form. On Earth, serpentine can be found in places like these sites in Oman, where subsurface olivine-rich rocks are undergoing a process conveniently referred to as serpentinization. It's of great interest to astrobiologists because serpentinization releases hydrogen, which can be used as an energy source by microbial life. It's thought that this process led to some of the earliest habitats for life on Earth, which makes it relevant to Mars. So, getting a sample of serpentine-rich rock from Mars is relevant to the search for life there. This location offered some large, smooth expanses of outcrop to sample. The coring operation proceeded uneventfully, with the rotary percussive drill generating a little pile of tailings that slid downslope as it grew. The final step twists the sample tube inside the drill bit, which breaks off the rock core and contains it inside. Then Perseverance raises the drill and shows the bit to the MassCam Z camera to document the result. This step allows for a preliminary look inside the sample tube, which typically reveals the bottom of the rock core. But this time there was no evidence for it. The tube then gets transferred out of the drill bit for additional inspections inside the rover. The cache cam looks directly down into the tube, which is raised in one centimeter increments to bring into focus whatever's inside. In this case, there was nothing to see except the bottom of the tube and some tiny grains of the rock that used to be there. Fortunately, the tube was not automatically capped and sealed, leaving it available for another go round. And that's what Perseverance did. The team chose to reposition Perseverance a short distance away and make another coring attempt. Like the first, this one proceeded uneventfully or nominally, as engineers like to say. Unfortunately, this also resulted in a view of a dark, empty-looking tube, which was confirmed under the gaze of cash cam. A few bits of rock at the bottom attest to its coming and going. A third time was very unlikely to be the charm given a rock that's aqueously altered enough to crumble under the load of a coring operation. So Perseverance has abandoned this tantalizing outcrop and moved on, still with the same tube available for a future sample. It's amusing to conjure a scenario wherein Mars is unwilling to share its most profound secret. But the reality is a case of a drill bit designed for a range of rock types, encountering one it couldn't handle.